Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Alright, what kind of geek are you? You're obviously watching this video because you're attracted to its title, software, and hopefully you're not physically attracted to it because then you're watching the wrong video. Uh, there are all kinds of geeks. Software geeks, internet geeks, hardware geeks, leak geeks, unleak geeks, meat geeks. Some of us really like tech. I mean, we just love technology. Are, are you one of those geeks? Just hardcore, nerdcore geeks, man. I got a top five list for you. Yep, top five list for buying software. Does that trip your geek trigger? Did you even know you had a geek trigger? Yes, you do. It's your job to find it, though. I'm not going to tell you, because every geek's uh, trigger is located differently uh, on their bodies. Mine? I'm not going to tell you. Hey, Chris. Drakey here. I don't have much time to view the live feed, and the time difference makes it harder. However, I do watch your shows on YouTube, so I decided to finally add my two pennies, he's from England, to your top five list. Please find and close my top five in no particular order on buying software. Number five, decide whether you really need the software. Software can be expensive, and the last thing you want to do is go out on a whim and waste your money on something that you're probably not going to use more than once, if at all. So no software impulse buying. If they don't have a demo available, you don't buy it. Are we clear? Are we clear? That's the point where you guys say crystal. Number four, check compatibility. This is more or less an advanced user type of, um, I guess, qualification point. Uh, so, you know, you want to make sure that the software you get is going to be the software that's going to work on your computer. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's exactly what he's saying. I've never done it myself, but family members have contacted me asking me how to get the software to work when they're trying to install software for a Mac on a Windows machine. Oh, that's no good. Number three, read reviews, etc. Websites claiming their software does something does not necessarily mean it will always do that. It's true. It's, you know, even though I, I could sit here and say, uh, I'm a geek, and uh, you just have to take me, you know, at, at face value. I mean, I, you don't know I'm a geek. I could, just, I could be a, a, a character actor or something, you know? Like, I got nothing better to do with my time other than sit in front of two... 30-inch monitors watching Matrix screensavers as they cascade down. Read the reviews! Gosh, if, if people can't stand it, don't buy it! Don't even download it! Find out what the community is saying. You know what I'm talking about. Third-party reviews offer an impartial view and can always help you understand whether the product is going to work for you or not. I found this a great tip for almost all products I'm thinking about buying, not just software. Number two, Make sure you're going to be able to use it. And by this I mean it would be no good giving my dad, who is not computer literate, a copy of Photoshop and expecting him to be able to get his money worth out of it. Make sure the software you buy is within your computer knowledge range. Oh, so true. Number one, search for free or open source alternatives. By this, I mean do not download illegally. You know, the software pirating thing. We're just... We're really not into it. That's just, it's kind of rude. I mean, ima imagine, okay, so 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 here's the equivalent, right? Um, imagine someone came to you and asked you to do something for them, and you did it, and then they walked away without paying you. With that, that's, that's just, that's not fun. I mean, you want to punch the guy or girl in, in the eye. You, pff, pay me! You know, uh, doesn't matter how big a, a, a software company or developer is. I mean, it's they set the license, so we're just not into the whole illegal pirating thing. More often than not, the features of an expensive software package can be equaled by freeware. If you search around a little bit, you can probably find many or at least one package that can match even the greatest and most expensive software. And that's true. In Ponzi, my wife uh, broke a few of these, car what I believe are cardinal rules for buying software. Uh, she wanted to start compiling uh, notes for a book she wanted to write. And I thought it was cool, but uh, she ended up buying software off the shelf without reading reviews, without uh, downloading a demo, 
uh, and without checking compatibility, and then checking uh, for free alternatives. And there happened to be an open source alternative uh, for her to use in this case, and it was almost more full, almost more full featured. How can I say this? There are more features in the open source version of you know this type of software than there was in the commercial version. So it's true. You just gotta you gotta look around. You gotta find what's gonna fit your budget, and you know. And that's not to say uh, that not all shareware is, is is not worth the money. How? I'm, gosh, I'm I'm not even speaking properly tonight. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if uh, the other day I was looking for a good getting things done app, and everyone was going nuts over this you know high end product that costs right around a hundred bucks. I'm like, whoa, hundred bucks. Slow down, buckaroo. There's got to be a better alternative. And sure enough, uh, friends made a recommendation of a product that was far less, and in fact, it's in beta, so I can test it now for free and you know, kind of get into the flow of it. And then when it's you know, going to go final, uh, they, are, they are offering a discount, like a 20% discount for people who signed up for the mailing list. I'm like, yeah, it, it's a good price point if it can deliver what I need it to deliver. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes uh, when it is released. Uh, another thing you may think about with software, uh, if you um, can review software, uh, sometimes you can ask for a review copy of software. Uh, I do f frequently approach uh, vendors uh, whose software I want to try to see if they can get me a review copy, and so I can test it and then write about it or share information about it. And you know, even if it's shareware, it's free publicity for them. You know, so there's a lot of ways you can do that. And if you don't have a blog, you know, we've got a way that you can sign up for a free blog on LockerGnome.com, and if your review for software is really well written, then we can promote it. So, you know, it's a win, 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 win situation. Uh, the most recent copy of software that I asked to review, and it's still in the process, uh, it's a program that runs on the Mac called uh, Photonic, and it. How many of you guys use Flickr for uploading photos? I do, and. Uh, I'll have to dedicate a, a complete video to this, but Photonic is an amazing management tool for my photos and all my friends' photos, all from the desktop. Uploading photos, downloading photos, managing albums. I mean, it's it's nice. If you use Flickr and Mac OS X, Photonic is definitely worth checking out. It's the app that was really missing from my life, and I didn't realize that. I was looking for something that could do that, and I don't think there's a Windows, and I'm pretty sure there's not a Linux equivalent. Although I hear, by the way, speaking of free software, sorry, I can't, I can't stop talking about this, but since I brought it up, uh, apparently Google is working on a, a version of Picasa for Mac OS X. Can't wait for that. Of course, I love Picasa on Windows, loved it for years, and it's also available on Linux. It's, in my mind, I don't know if I'd say the ultimate photo management tool, but it's like easily top five. And now, since Google's got it, it's free. What is Picasa? Oh my God, download it, man. Download it. See, I, I probably saved you right there just by telling you about Picasa, which would have cost you 30 bucks before the acquisition by Google. I just saved you money, okay? You don't have to worry about going out and buying a photo management app. Let Picasa do it for you. If you're on Linux or Windows and there's a Mac OS X version coming. I kid you not. That's what I'm known for. I love software. I am a software geek. That's where I sit. I'm also an internet geek. More of a software geek than an internet geek. But anyway, if you're looking for software recommendations, you're looking to save money, you know you can find coupons on my blog at chris.perillo.com. Maybe you've got other tips you'd like to share with the rest of the community, whether it's related to software, saving money, buying things. My email address is chris.perillo.com. Uh, and uh, you're also welcome to swing by the chat room, which has been scrolling up, you know, with this video. I don't know what they've been saying because I left it unmoderated and I'm counting on the moderators in the chat room to flip the switch if it gets a little out of hand. Yeah, see that there. Someone's using caps. You know what? I mean, someone needs to make a keyboard that when you press the caps lock key, it actually sends a sh an electrical shock that renders your finger like unusable for like an hour or like kicks you off the internet for like a day. Shouldn't that, I mean, why hasn't someone thought of that? I think it's a good idea, like a gag button, you know? That's probably why I'm more of a software geek than a hardware geek. I would inflict too much pain on the people who don't know how to use it. Anyway, the chat room uh, is open right now. Uh, we're typically talking tech, hardware, software, internet, games, tips, tricks, tweaks, 
Saving money. Streaming this live video out. Me. Hello. I'm Chris. Just Google my name. You'll find me. Trust me. I'm more difficult not to find than I am to find. I'm serious. You can't not avoid me. All right. You found it. I, this, I had an itch. This is where my... That's my trigger right here. So if you see me itching, it's I'm itching my geek trigger. It's right there. I need to shave my geek trigger, which is a, another video entirely. Anyway, the chat room's open. We're waiting for you. So what are you waiting for? Stop by live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.